if you want to train your own LoRa, the good assets and well-prepared images are playing a giant role. And a big part also will play a visual descriptions of those files. So in this case, you need to use it like a blip model or other things to pass your images to that uh, workflow and create a special text files that resemble what is on the images. This is help I will train LoRa in more precision way. So it can deliver a better, better result on your prompt. Well, in my journey, honestly, I did not have a good luck with a blip or its application crashed or one and stopped supporting or I cannot find properly workflow. So I end up creating my workflow and this workflow will be for free available to you. Download it from description, Google Drive or my Patreon site. More than welcome. Well, let's go ahead over what we needed. And of course, we'll need it. Actually, two main components for this. One is definitely Comfy UI and it be installed and run on your computer. And if you're not familiar or have some questions, check my video where I explain everything from A to Z about Comfy UI. And a second big component we needed. It is some kind of large language model that can recognize and work also with images that can look on our image and tell what is seeing. In our case, we're going to use the Llama for this and specific Llama uh, Lava Vision. Well, we do need to install that as well. I do have a specific video about how to run all Llama on your computer, but you don't need to even run through this because it's so simple and easy to install it. And I will highly recommend because when you run all Llama with Llama on your computer or different models, you will also have a great assistance inside the Comfy UI that can not just work with image recognition, but also can help you to build a better descriptions, a better um, prompts. Well, to install a Llama, I would recommend go to olama.com, all the links down below, and just click right here and download it for version you use it. Windows, Macintosh, or other things. In my case, all of this running on a Windows platform. I went and I downloaded the Olama. Just run simple setup and that's all. It's ready to use. When we first time execute, the Olama will go online and pull model, the model what we needed. Well, if you're interested in what model we're going to use it, we're going to use Lava model. A link also down below, but you can go on Olama with models and you can see a many, many different models here. You also can click on a vision is what I did and maybe find some different vision model that you like better as provide for your descriptions. In our example, I'm using Lava for Lama and we'll just don't even worry to download here. System will download by itself. All what you need to do is just copy this prompt. After you install Olama on your computer, you just go open command prompt and inside the command prompt, just type this, what it was. That's all. It's ready to run. I know it's very simple, but now you run this uh, large language model on back of your computer. And of course, time when you don't want to use it, don't want to use memory, just close this command prompt and all released and ready to this. So in this workflow, I was using different nodes and tell you true. I experiment. I tried one way. Another doesn't work. So it's almost like, you know, when you build in a Lego, some you have the idea and you're using like Lego blocks and put together. And sometimes you need kind of use a different color Legos. And that's what happened here. So that primarily, if you just take this workflow and download it, nodes, if you're missing, it will pop up and says, do you want to install it? I will recommend cancel go to the manager install custom missing nodes click on this it will show you all nodes that you're missing and i just install them directly from manager after this you want to restart your comfy ui for sure and sometimes you can restart from here but personally i wait till everything finish installation and i'm usually just going to turn off the server and restart it like almost hard boot for the comfy ui I found in my cases, sometimes it work a little bit better because otherwise if you have a soft kind of reboot, try otherwise, I don't know, it's a couple times just did not work for me till I have a hard reboot. Okay, so let's go dive inside. Ignore this disable 
nodes because I will show you in a second. So what are we going to do? What do we want to do here? Let's go from the top. This is where we're preloading different images. Notice you can have it a different also resolution. And this is but journal nodes. Beautiful pack. I highly recommend the I even have a video review of those nodes. I mean, it's almost nodes for every day of use. Highly recommend stable, good nodes and actively, actively uh, updating. Well, and right here, we're loading images from the output folder. You can select different type of resolution as you preset one image. Well, this is select folders. If you notice, I have different folders in output directory. So it's meaning if you go inside your output directory and you have it right here, your folders, it's actually will read and display those folders. So you can select which one you want it. Which is kind of nice because sometimes when you prepare your model, you maybe run this to applications, but generally you can specify. You can also refresh folders if you have it something new, but we'll just leave it one single image for the example I want to show you. And after I will show you uh, multiple images down below, we have it a loop. What is a loop does it just integrate going through over images right here. says start from one, finish one and jump one because we're just testing one image. When we'll test it more images, you'll see the different. Also notice right here, it's showing me in this directory, just one image and it's what we're using. Next, we have a selector for the image because we need to select just one image here as a process. This one is just informational. I just want to see how many it will process. Down below, here's what happened a little bit magic with Olama. So I'll notice right here, we have it Olama vision. Install it Then it's same but journal. Next, we have it preloaded for Olama. And sometimes you'll need to specify. This is most likely what your server run. If you run by default installation, you did not modify anything. Most likely it will be localhost 11.434. And to update models, you just click update. By the way, when you run for first time and you don't have it, this model installed, it will take a little bit time till it's downloading this model from the server. So in my case, I already have this model pool on my computer. So it just run and don't need even download it. It's there. And afterwards, I'll just update. And there you go. You can see it says allow latest. It's what we're running actually on lower latest. Okay. Down below, we have our vision processing. It's where we have our Olama look on our image, what watching. And by the way, right here, you'll notice our prompt, what I did, it's uh, you can put your own prompt, but I just put it describe image in details, very accurate, use text only, no special character, describe like you're telling AI image generator how to create or recreate this. Do not include any introduction text, explanation, just very simple because I want description. And in this type prompt, you actually can experiment a little bit. See which one working for you better. You maybe says, hey, put it everything like in 100 characters only. So you can specify as you want it. And in some cases, if you work like with a JGPT, you may be familiar or any other. It's just large language model, which is very easy to communicate with this. Okay, down below, we just leave it default seed control. It's all random. It's fine. And right here, this is a little bit messy. And let me explain what's going on here. Example, this is a Laura set that we're using for training. You can see I named them Laura underscore noir underscore two. It's kind of make easy because it's sequential going over. So and because of that, what I want to do here, I want to run from the sequence is what looper will give it us what selection will be one, two, three. So we have this numeric and here is actually going and will provide kind of this init to number number to string and that is i know i wish uh it was directly from int to string and you know it's maybe will be i may write a note just to simplify this we'll see okay, this is a future vlog speaking to you so when i finished record this video i was working and it just bugging me seriously i look on all this you know unnecessary too many nodes two connections and i'm just like nope i'm writing my own node so I end up writing on node and for you it's very very easy all what you need to do just download it uh, file you can open create directory into string node and copy and put this int file inside 
this is actually description for the um, nodes what can do and I will show you because it's very simple it's a small nodes but it saved me a um, lot of all the spaghetti and mess up which I don't like it now let me show you right here with this ignore this will look in a second so what I done I put it called path finder it's simple it's have it number and by the way if you need it I also have a node it's called integer two. okay integer int two where's my integer right here integer to string so if you ever need to use it there you go this is just simple you don't need those two nodes you don't need to convert to number number to string nothing you can use this and it's all part of one pack next I don't want you know those connections you remember connect this connect this connect that so now it's simple one path finder if you need it if or uh, combiner where you have your path prefix number you will be connecting from here or you can add some other and extensions and this is after save to the file so if for some reason I put it right here so you can look on a string what is created and everything when you don't want to do this it's even simpler now and by the way this is also into string which is save file because other ones I had problems with a was node just need Y listed and I need a bunch of crap was there that I don't want it so right here it just save text file only and your location you don't need to worry about this but even here I create even more simple one which is combine all of this so just one node if you want it which is take your path where you specified you select your prefix similar like right here so just combine those nodes and you have it input your text from this and this is will just save the text file there I mean it's simple and in this case just use this one node you know instead of all this other spaghetti uh, simplicity it's make less possible something go wrong because when you overgrown you have a too complex code something easy can go bad so the beauty in simplicity and all what you need to just click run like before and right here we have it, our files safe in directory where you need it well now back to our past vlog yes, we'll see but right now you can see the uh, first we have a prefix it's mean path comfy I output Laura Laura underscore what under this if you notice this underscore this is beginning of our name for the file so we have it comfy I output Laura Laura remember some of these files will have the string so they cannot uh, save in some folders to the security so we'll start from comfy UI. next right here we have it its conversion integer integer to number number to the string and we adding here this is just a number it will be like one two three these numbers and after this just add dot txt it's a required text file here after this combining text right here you can see it's have an output for us generated like comfy i output lower of one and also this is well save and just for the test i want to see full path so be sure it's a save and right place me here as well if you notice we have a display of what it see on an image in this case well let's do one thing so we'll I delete the file we don't have here let's go enable this so what this one does it's helped me to verify if my prompt is correct and is the best way to do it well let me re enable all of this we have a preview image and if we look on the single right here you can see this is image it's what we're using it's kind of green animal with uh, glasses this is our first image on description and what I'm done I run through this description and going to encode and we'll just generate this image and I'm just using uh, Jarmel Excel for the test of this so very simple I don't really care about what model we're using I just want to be sure that my prompt testing will actually generate and I do recommend for you to create or use this when you're experimenting with your prompts because when you put it right here some in your old llama vision prompts maybe it does not give you properly descriptions you want to be sure maybe add details and see the right here a little bit more so it's 
kind of like fox it's what's up but let's look right here an animated fox character wearing goggles green lenses so it does not tell green or vibrant so i can actually go in inside and tweak a little bit more with the text i want to provide like for example for example you know just add let's go run again so of course if we run and modify we can look right here it's a seems a little bit changed now we can say more details less uh one thing what you don't want you don't want to overdo i mean you don't want to create too uh long text in some case you maybe even one says in 100 characters here or define well it's definitely will need play a little bit more to describe this character because it seems like the string does not work and as well as we're doing this because i put it in a lower if you look on this file preview right here you can see it's actually created by the way notice it's append to the file and this is actually done on purpose because sometimes i want to run and create one two three depend on a system how you're using if you don't want to append you can delete or you can specify brand new file to save it override it okay so let's go now test different uh the other things okay so we'll go there we don't need it this one let's go this and we'll just block all of this right here we don't need them okay as our path we'll go to test now a lot of 28 images and right here we need more by uh, uh, we need set to 28 so we have a 28 of them uh, we'll just leave it as default this even we need problem modify a little bit the adjustments we save here we have it no lower available okay and when we're done we can go ahead click what's happening this time you can see just example it is read all 28 images this is give it to us um you can <laughs> when you're done with this i'm using for the debugging mode yes but if you don't need it you can just delete this preview file if you need it for me just be sure all output is correct here now it's going and process local and if you look actually on your server you can see it does go and can generate each of those um, text files it does not save them yet it's meaning if you have it extremely extremely large maybe uh, 100,000 images then you may have a problem with memory maybe but it's text again so i won't worry about that at this point but just let you know it does save in your memory till it's all processing with llama and after it's only will go and start saving them and we'll see also change numeration like laura one two three we want to this because when we are using our laura training you will notice it will look on the same folder and we'll look for same file for the description only dot txt and we'll use it so you don't need it special uh, include path and include files just as long they will be inside the same folders with like lore underscore one png or lore underscore one dot txt it's all what you needed okay right here is done and we can see this is again all of this name it's created for us and i can see it's did laura underscore 23 and right here the descriptions for every one of those kind of add and if we look on our text you can see it did create text for everything we can click on preview and right here image of black so it's, it's kind of going description there you go and you can see it it's have it actual descriptions we can use with uh, our um a lot of training and this is will help significantly to create a better lore because it will include description well i think this is all what i want to show you i say this model be sure um if you like this like subscribe share the video um kind of need grow <laughs> and your help is greatly appreciated remember all uh, links to those contents will be down below let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time bye